thanks for checking out the channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe. So today we're going to be taking a look at double box end wrenches produced by Snap-on and by Genius. So the first thing I wanted to take a look at when comparing these two wrench sets is the difference in sizes. Um, it does seem like the Snap-on has got a little better variety uh, of sizes when compared to the Genius. Um, but the first size, largest size for the Snap-on is 18 millimeter and 20 millimeter. Next size is 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter. Next size is 15 millimeter and 16 millimeter. Next is 14 and 15 millimeter. 12 millimeter and 13 millimeter. And the smallest for the Snap-on is 10 millimeter and 11 millimeter. Next up is the largest for the Genius. It is 17 millimeter and 19 millimeter. The next size down is 16 millimeter and 18 millimeter. Next one down from that is 14 millimeter and 17 millimeter, which is strange, but um, next down from that is 13 millimeter and 15 millimeter. Next down from that is a 12 millimeter and a 14 millimeter. And the smallest for the Genius is 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. There are a few obvious differences when comparing these wrenches to one another. First, the Genius wrenches are noticeably longer than their Snap-on counterparts. These are the two largest wrenches in each of the sets, and the Snap-on measures in at 15 and a half inches, whereas compared, the Genius measures in at a full 16. The next difference I noticed when comparing these two wrenches is the Genius has got a fairly sharp edge to the shank of each wrench, and it can become quite uncomfortable when wrenching for a long period of time. Whereas compared, the Snap-on has got a nice rounded edge to the shank, and even after long periods of time, it's still fairly comfortable. The next thing I noticed when working with these wrenches is the teeth on the Genius wrenches are not quite as aggressive as the Snap-ons, and every once in a while they do tend to slip on damaged or uh, corroded fasteners, uh, whereas the Snap-ons don't tend to do that. Uh, the teeth are f fairly aggressive when compared to the Genius, um, but not that big of a difference. The shaft of the Genius's measures in at 5 eighths of an inch, which is a little bit smaller than the Snap-ons at 3 fourths of an inch. And uh, the Snap-ons are noticeably heftier, um, and like we all know, it's not just the length that matters, it's also thickness. So, knowing what I know now, the real question is, would I buy the Snap-ons, or would I try to save a few dollars and go with the Genius's? Well, that's not an easy question to answer, but with the Snap-ons, you're obviously getting a product produced in the United States, and you're getting one of the best warranties in the business. But all of that does come with a price of about $300. And the Geniuses are produced in Taiwan, uh, and they do have a comparable warranty. The quality is there with these wrenches, and the best part is they cost under $100. So... The geniuses definitely deserve to be in the conversation. Not only that, but if I had to choose, I'd buy the geniuses. And the reason being is saving $200. Thanks for checking out the channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm the Tool Detective. Thanks again.